Hi, welcome to R2D2. Um, this tutorial is going to be about the icons in the menu. You remember there is a way, a system uh, to actually have in this menu here, the standard menu, actually have icons in it, but then you should change. And how do we change? We go to the dot config folder, which is the hidden folder, then to the open box folder. Blah, blah, blah. Where is it? Here it is. And we have just to switch these names around and that's okay. You can do it via terminal as well, but I'd rather do it like this so you can see visually this is gonna go away. That's our original one. And this is gonna come in its place. Control shift and then backspace. I do not have my screen keys on yet. Screen key is on now. Pressing super shift backspace and now we can have a look at our menu now oh we don't have a menu yet let's try again okay there we are so ob menu generator that's uh, the, what this tutorial is about um, as it sometimes happens there is a problem in this um, this program it's not our program it's ob menu generator program and we can ask to pipe a menu which is just going to do this let's make this smaller up here is good and when then we have a program that's generating every time a menu right mouse click and it's quite fast as you can see but even but when I, when we have icons of course we have to load all these icons and that's coming a bit well depending on your hardware and CPU and so forth it becomes slower when it's a pipe then it's uh, when you install or uninstall things it's gone but when of course you ask a static menu it will be an xml and it will of course be faster a little bit faster but it's an xml file you can follow what's inside here just by opening it every time again and then you see ah, oh, it's gonna execute the program so that's what it does every time you click on the right mouse click. Bon, that being said, what happened this morning? Generate a pipe menu with icons. Okay, we generated one and we say, okay, looks nice. Now, first off, um, this is my plank theme that you do not get confused, but it is a bit confusing. Right mouse click, when we go to the preferences and the XFCE appearance, these icons here are governed by the XFCE settings. Okay, let's take something obvious like this one. It's clear that it's going to be changed here with the XFCE appearance. Let's maybe keep it like that. So, you know, th this doesn't matter. This is not an issue. This is not what we're coming here for. What we want to have is icons that are working. Right? Every icon is there, but the color also uh, is correct. And there were some issues this morning, also on my machine. I thought, okay, let's dive into it. So I'm gonna tell you what I know right now. Still working. We should go always to Alex Appearance, that's one. Alex Appearance is the one that decides what icons are coming in the menu, nothing else. So icon theme, if we say Sardi, apply right mouse click you get this and then let's take something obvious again sadly flexible apply right mouse click and everything works all icons are there let's quickly check good check for me as well some of the icons will look a little bit odd but that's because of and the, yeah, the application itself so everything it looks okay and the same goes for the surfing icons let's check them as well I had to make four extra icons uh, for this one so if you did not do an update do it and even then if you have problems first delete the surfing and then get the very very latest one because there are four icons that were missing and it was situated here this one was missing and these ones were missing so a few of these and one of these i think so 
only four icons, but a lot of impact in it. So that's also okay. Let's take something else, Surf and Arch Labs. You see only the difference here because of the Arch Labs and the folders are different here. And everything else, you check it out, everything looks okay. But I had to do something in order to be successful. I had to, well, look at the complete OB menu generated Perl code. Didn't help me a bit. And then uh, I went into this part. Go inside .config, and then the OP menu generator. You can this one, I think. Yeah, you need to change or add a line that says that is in here. So, this is the line that I've added, and from now on, I hope I say it's a work in progress. We'll see. I think this solves our issue for the guys that are using the icons. So I'll pop it up in an article, write it in, and that's the line you need to pop in there. And let's try that out. If that um, solves your issues, if at all you had an issue, because there are computers here who do not have an issue at all, and others that do, uh, <laughs> that's always a problem if you can't. Um, make you can't you, know, you can't so see you can't generate a problem that's it you can't generate a problem then you can't solve the problem so sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't okay i solved this in this case on my computer with this line and in the meantime i learned so i learned another thing um what we should not do and i've put it on uh, github for the creator of ob menu generator what we should never do is separate things Meaning, you know that I have the Sardi extra icons. You should never put them in the dot icons, ever. Or you put everything inside the dot icons, also the Sardi coming from SourceForge and the Sardi extra coming from GitHub, all together in icons. Or you put everything together in the other one, in the user share icons. So it's it will never go, it's never gonna look, if you put something in here, it's never gonna look in here because you remember that the Sardi and the servant icons, they depend on each other. They, one icon team is gonna look for the icons of the other one. So it, it's, it's a cascade system. So I don't have too much megabytes. And that's the idea, to, miss, to have the missing icons coming from somewhere else. But this program, OB Manage Generator, does not take into account that it might be on two places. So solution for now, Everything in here, Sadi icons coming from SourceForge and Sadi icons coming from Sadi Extra GitHub, or install everything in via Packer because that's uh, anyway the way to install stuff here. So Packer, and then we have the Sadi, and then you type, and then you see that there is still more to be installed. And if you do it via this way, via, via Packer, then it's always going to be in the user share icon, so you won't have an issue at all. All right, so uh, that's what I've learned to this morning, working on this issue. Um, so two things I've learned. One an extra line that maybe is needed for some of us. Uh, for others, it's, it seems not to be necessary and um, that we should combine all icons in one place or the sardi or the dot icons or the user share icons okay enjoy arch labs for now um we'll we'll get back to you if we know more about this issue ciao